We have been traveling the rich fertile lands of Kenya, far and wide, across the highlands and lowlands of this beautiful country, talking to farmers wherever we go. We want to give them the help and knowledge they need to improve their farming methods, increase their income, and turn around their farms into good business for the future. Join us and our experts on this journey and share their families' experiences as they make the changes. Karibu to Shamba Ship Up Safari. We are here at Rongai district, 40 kilometers away from Nakuru, to help shape a shamba. Tony, what are you doing up there? Well, so there's lots of cows around here and I can't see any. Oh, come on, let's go down, find the farmers, and find out what the problem is. Okay. Or you can stay there. <laughs> I'm stuck. We have come to shape up the shamba of John and Miriam's family. As well as cows, John and Miriam have goats. Local chickens, maize, and oh, we can't forget the puppy who seems to love our camera. An old car in the compound is now where their granddaughter and her friends can play. <laughs> beep, beep. Wow. Drivers are getting younger these days. It was John and Miriam's daughter Viola who wrote to us for advice and help. <sighs> oh, thank goodness I managed to get down from that tree. Now, Viola, yes. you wrote to us. Yes. We saw two emails requesting us to come here. Yes. It was so passionate I could even see tears on the email. Real tears, <laughs> right? <laughs> why, why did you decide to come back home? Okay, I would say I've been watching Shamba Shape Up Safari uh -huh. and uh, I got an interest with it mm -hmm. and I thought about where I came from mm -hmm. here and I thought it is important if I came back to help my parents shape wow. up Shamba. Wow, you left the town to come here and help your parents. Yes. That's, that's really wonderful. Let me, why, why are people not doing that anymore? Uh, I would say people tend to go to towns mm -hmm. and they never want to come back home, maybe because of poverty and such kind of things. So what would you advise young people now watching? I would advise people that home is the best place to be. Mm -hmm. East or West, home is best. So they should stop what they are doing yes. once in a while, come back, come home, back home and check on their parents and maybe, maybe help out in farming. Sure. Wow, that's sure. wonderful, that's wonderful. <laughs> now, John, how big is your shamba? I have five acres. Five acres. Yes. And how long have you lived here? It's about 20 years. 20 years, yes. the same farm. Yes. That's, that's nice. That's yeah. really wonderful. Yeah. How many kids do you have? Six. You have six children? Yes. That's very nice. Yes. And so what kind of problems do you face, John, every day on your farm? Especially this year we face a problem because we have maize, which uh, mm -hmm. So some, some of the maize is... Yes tall and some maize is short. Uh -huh. Did you plant it at the same time? Yes, the same. It's wakati moja too. Oh, so you plant it at the same time. Yes. One is tall, yeah. one some short, and you have no idea what yes. is the cause. Yes. How about you, Miriam? What is your problem on the farm? Shida, niko na ngombe kumina moja. Ah, you have 11 cows. Ni na kamoyo ngombe kumina moja. Napata lida shirina tano. Na ata iwe sikutosha familia. Kulipa school fees. So you have 11 cows, uh, you get 25 liters out uh, of all the 11 cows, yes. and that's very little. There you must be very something, yes, there must be something. Oh, <laughs> that, that, that means very little. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's little milk, that's little milk. But don't worry, she asked us to come here, and we have come here, and not only us, we also have experts who are going to help you. And so, we set up base camp. And Viola tells us more about why she wrote to us. And I thought it's very important to come back home because we have resources, we have, we have cattle, we have land, we have water, but we've never utilized those resources. So I thought if Shamba Shape Up came to our farm, they would really help us, shape us or improve us and show us a reason why we should go the farming way. Friend of Shamba Shape Up, John Mwangi from Coopers, has joined us on the farm to give us some important management advice on why the cows are not producing as much milk as they could. Now, John. Yeah. I would like you to meet John. 
Mm. Wow. And as I can see, John has so many cows. So, John, you <laughs> must be a very wealthy man. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you are not. not. I'm not. I can uh, see so many cows here. Uh, yes, but... Yeah? Uh, How many liters were you getting from the 11 cows? We are getting 25 liters. And how many liters should they be getting? Oh my. 11 animals? Yes. Yeah. 11 cows is producing 15 and above. Yeah. Even if you can put at 15, uh -huh. you're expecting 100 and above liters. What is wrong here? In terms of management, I never saw a, a calf pen, I never saw a, a shed for the animals, I never mm -hmm. saw any, any traps where they are feeding from, I never saw where they are being milked from. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Where do you milk your cows? Uh, Outside. Yeah. Outside? Here. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Anywhere, I can go right now and yes. just milk. <laughs> oh my, that's so stressful to the animal. An animal needs to be stimulated, needs to understand that now there's a, there's a time to be milked. This is where I'm supposed to be milked. These are the facilities to be milked with. And there's a man to milk. Secondly, these animals need some traps. Oh, look at the trough. <laughs> that's a trough. There's, yes. there's a trough, huh? It's a trough. Interesting. The trough is empty. Is that a water trough, a feeding trough? What is this for? It's a feeding. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, for feeding. For yeah, feeding. feeding. And so, what do you recommend that John and Miriam do? One, needs a shed for the animals. Troughs, good troughs for the animals to feed from. Requires pens for where the animal will be milked from. That day, you can't differentiate which breed is which breed. They are all mixed. mixed. There's a Frisian, there's a Nasha, <laughs> there's a Sahiwo, mm -hmm. there's a close between a Sahiwo and Nasha and a... Ah, it's like the United Nations of Cows. <laughs> Do I say so? <laughs> 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 now, when you're talking about the milk production, there are specifically breeds meant for production of milk. Because I can see the goal of John is to produce milk. I think that's your goal. Mm. Now with all the variety, of the breeds, eh? you cannot be in a position because, like a sahiwo, sahiwo is a dual purpose. A dual purpose is an animal that is giving you beef and at the same time producing milk in small quantities. So, what to inquire is first of all to upgrade his herd. So, it's better for him to have even five cows that are producing lots and lots of milk. That is it. Rather than having 50 cows producing one liter of milk. <laughs> but probably by 50, 50 liters. 50 liters. <laughs> ah. John tells us about his observations of the cow's health. They have ticks, but this can be treated with the Cooper's product, Triatix. This is alternated with a product called Grenade, and this will eliminate the different types of ticks on the farm. I think I noticed another problem. Well, working with you, I've learned that when the fur looks, you know, when the fur doesn't look good, yeah. it's a very, very, very huge sign that the cows have worms. And I think I'm right. Some animals, like the Frisian, the fur was studying. And I really realized that if I went close to that animal and just touched it, I would have come with some of the furs out of my hands. Your animals, Mr. John, requires deworming. Yes. A Cooper's product called Nielsen Plus can be used for deworming. With all products, read the instructions carefully and wear protective clothing to use them. All these Cooper's products are available at local agrovets. John has also noticed a cow with a body part missing. I also did realize that one of your animals doesn't have a tail. Mm. <laughs> what happened? You cut it off for the five weeks. What happened? <laughs> oh, it was an infection. Yeah? Mm. Whenever there is an infection in your animals, consult a doctor, consult a veterinary, let the veterinary come and handle the keys when before you go and cutting there, the tail. Eh? John went on to give important advice about milking. Miriam makes the cow in the open field, which is very unhygienic. This can easily cause mastitis, which is brought on by bacteria in wet and clean places. Prevention is better than cure. And so, as well as Shamba Shepa building a new milking pen, Miriam must also make sure that when milking, her clothes are clean, the bucket is disinfected and warm water and milking salve is used. Cooper's milking salve has two very good chemicals for prevention of mastitis. Dechlorophyte, which is a disinfectant for mastitis prevention, and ranolin, which is used to make the teeth soft and smooth for your milking to be made easier for you and the cow. 
Improving on basic health and management of your cows will always increase the milk production. Treat your cows for worms and ticks. Make sure they have adequate food, supplements and clean water. The cows should be milked in a milking pen, not in the open field. When milking, use clean warm water and milking salve. Shamba Shepherd Handyman Caris is getting rid of the old tire traps. And is ready to build the new troughs and a milking pen. This will mean the cows will be able to eat properly, have access to water to drink, and also a dry and regular place to be milked. John told us how one plot of maize is short and not doing very well. Then the next plot is tall and doing very well. It was the same seed planted at the same time. And so I asked expert Jen Jerry to come and help us out with this puzzle. So John, now you can tell Jane here your problems. She's the expert. My problem is uh, I planted this maize mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. And I treated the same day. But I see different, this one is too small and these are too big. They're very high mm -hmm. and this one is too short. But you I gave the same, the same treatment? Treatment. The same day? Yes. The, the same fertilizer? The same. Everything is the same. The same seed? Yes. Wow. There must be a problem in the field, as I can see. And uh, if it's the same seed, the same treatment, then the problem must be in the soil. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, and we need to do some analysis, some soil test. Yes. We will be able to tell the history of the soil, yes. what it has, what this one has, and this one doesn't. And so we'll be able to solve your problem. Tell me, John, has this always been a maize field? No. This place is for Boma, mm -hmm. for our cattle. Oh, so it's a cow shed? Yes. So what do you make out of that, Jane? Oh, now I understand. That's why we have a beautiful maize crop this side, mm -hmm. and we don't have a beautiful crop this side. It means we had animal manure on this plot, while there was no animal manure on the other side. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to do the soil analysis. Yeah. So although the soil test, so that we are able to, to know or to discern what we need in this plot, and oh. probably that will, will give you a uniformity, a, yeah. a uniform field. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's good. So John and Jane, you'll take some soil samples yes. so we can find out what is the problem. Yes. A soil sample should be taken from different points in the field, mixed and put in a clean bag to be sent off for a soil test. It's like sending your soil to the soil doctor. They'll test it to find out the problems and give you the results so you can use the right fertilizer to make your soil healthy. So how is it? Great, great. John and Miriam are learning so much from John about their cows. Now we are busy putting up the milking pen mm -hmm. and the troughs. Oh, I'm sure the whole place is going to look fabulous. Oh, great. Uh, Jane is taking the soil for sampling and I'm hoping it's going to be good news for, for, for John. So finally he can find out what is wrong with his maze. Aha, good, good. Can I take you somewhere, Naomi? Is it a date? Is it a date? You never know, you never know. See you soon. Come on, come on. To receive all Shamba Shepa leaflets, SMS the word all with your name and address to 5606. If you'd like to receive just a leaflet for this farm, SMS farmer, that's the name of the farmer, with your name and address to 5606.
Welcome back to Shamba Sherpa. This is your idea on date, an agricultural show? Naomi, you love farming, I love farming, so let us have fun. Okay. <laughs> While work is being done back on the shamba to build the troughs and milking pens for the cows, we brought John and Miriam to the local agricultural show in Akuru town. Agricultural shows are a great resource of information and a chance to meet lots of experts for advice. So Jane, you're one of the organizers of this good and beautiful show. Now tell me, what is it all about? One important thing is that if you look at this country, mm. nearly everybody, in one way or another, is a farmer. Mm. We're giving the farmers a platform where they can come into a one-stop shop and get lots of information they need to develop their enterprises, uh -huh. information on seed, what varieties to grow, when and where, and that's why we have a crop demonstration site where all these seed companies have put their crops and the farmers can get to see. We also have the machinery companies, both large-scale and small-scale, because technology, especially mechanization, is important to improve in our agriculture. We have other service providers, financial institutions, who are providing loans, um, advice on agriculture, soil testing, as well as general retailers, agro-dealers are all here. So it's really a one-stop shop for any farmer. How does a farmer benefit from all this? Huh, lots of benefits for the farmer. One thing, as I said, is a one-stop shop. So they don't need to keep walking around town looking for information. It's all here. Two, they get to have a one-to-one -one interaction with the experts. Uh -huh. We have the best in the industry, all of them here. Three, for the farmers, there's also the opportunity to interact with other farmers. There's a lot of interaction that's going to go on. Exactly. Okay. And what advice would you give to the farmers? This fair happens once every year. Besides that, it's free. Uh -huh. We do this for the farmer. They should just get up and come here with a pen and paper ready to get information, to learn, and expand their knowledge in their enterprises. By coming here, they'll be able to get themselves to the next level. Free, 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 free. I mean, all this information is free at the Ministry of Agriculture. That's good. With all the information from the expo, back on the Shamba, John and Miriam have been thinking about the advice given by John from Coopers. He suggested they sell some cows to make the herd smaller, but replace them with one or two high milk producers. But how do farmers finance something like this? KCB offers special services especially for farmers. Uh, Miriam and John would like to sell some of their cows to buy two very good ones. So what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, maybe I'll ask them about uh, their financial aspect. Uh, John, do you have a bank account? Yes, I have it. Income from milk, how much do you get uh, uh, that you... Getting very little. Mm. Okay. Yes. And the money you get, do you bank in that account with us in Flamingo? Uh, as we shall do as financial providers so that you bank, you track what income you get uh, so that you know how much you are getting per cow, so that you see if they're productive or not, so that you may record your income from the, uh, from the animal. Yeah. Uh, Miriam, maybe, uh, will you like some finances so that we may assist in the buying of the cows? Yes. Mm. We'll assist you in the business plan. Yes. Uh, we'll also assist you to source the breeders. We have recommended breeders. We may assist you to move around to see them. And uh, the one you will choose will be able to finance and assist you to get to source the cows. Then we'll come back and do the business plan together with you, guide you step by step, and we'll be able to finance you uh, to purchase the two cows. Okay, wow. 
Mm. That's a good plan, isn't it, Miriam? Yes, it's a good plan. So, John, do you have any questions you'd um, like to ask him? How many monies will I pay with a loan? Ideally, that one will depend uh, on uh, your ability to pay it. We give, uh, uh, we give up to a maximum of 18 months. Mm. Okay. And then maybe even Miriam, what we may have also, uh, the kind of loan we do, we give you the loan to purchase the cow and also part of it, we also give you proceeds to purchase the animal feeds so that you can feed the cow and also buy the cow. Because oh. when this hybrid come, they, they require uh, different kind of feeds, that, yes. like not the normal. We love now doing the A, the dairy meal, those mm. kind of feeds. Mm. So we'll also finance you to be capable of uh, providing feed for the cow and also to have the hybrid and also the structures. The donor will finance for good structures to keep in the cow. Yes. Oh, that's a good plan, isn't it, John and Miriam? Yeah. We are happy about that? We are happy. Okay. Yeah. Let me ask Mr. Stephen about, he has given me some loan to buy a cow, and then I have brought that cow, I have kept in my farm. Abruptly that cow dies, and I have not finished to pay loan, yet the cow I was milking to get the money to pay the loan. What will I do? Uh, KCB have partnered with the insurance companies. Mm. We recommend you to some of them. We will choose the best one for you. Mm. Uh, then they will cover that. In mm. case of diseases or death or that kind of eventuality that mm. can befall the animal, mm. will, the insurance will take care of uh, and pay off you alone. Ah, even cows have insurance. Yeah, cows <laughs> have insurance. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> So, to make it possible for John and Miriam to cull some low milk producing cows and replace the two high milk producing breeds, the bank can help. Open a bank account, talk to the bank to apply for a loan, the bank will help setting you up with breeders, the new cow acts as a guarantee for the loan. You have up to 18 months to repay the loan. The bank will help you through the whole business plan step by step. So this proves that banks and farmers can work together so that the farmer can have better income and do a good business, right? Yes, 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 yes it works. It's great that the plan can become a reality. Meanwhile, Caris has finished the new cow troughs. It has a new roof to protect the ground. Stone flooring. The troughs are big enough for feed plus a simple piece of guttering and a small tank to ensure water can be harvested. And so the cows have enough clean water. The new milking pen will enable Miriam to milk the cows well in a healthy and easy way. She's now using the Cooper's milking salve which will help prevent mastitis and will result in quality clean milk production and more milk to sell. Also, John has taken advice and has decided to reduce the size of his herd and invest in two new cows that are higher milk producers. This will result in better profit and happier, better managed cows. Earlier, expert Jane Jerry sent off a soil sample from John's maize plot for testing, and the results are in. And as per, per the laboratory, results is that the pH of this soil is very good. It's at 6.46, but the phosphorus in here is at 3.13. So that's very low. And that's why your maize is this way. So what, what can I do with this soil for my, my shamba? We have a fertilizer, a TSP, that is triple super phosphate. Yes. That you can use on your plants, on yeah. your farm. Yes. And it will, it, will lift, it will lift the, the phosphorus, which is lacking in the soil. Yes. Yes. So when planting next season, you're supposed to use a bottle top. The one that, is, that covers the soda, the normal soda that we have, which is about 10 grams per plant. One hole? Yeah, one hole. Yes. Per hole, you just put 10 grams. Yes. Yes. Okay. And it's going to do wonders to your crop. Jen reminds John, that as well as using TSP fertilizer next time he's planting, he must also use farmyard manure, of which he has plenty now that it is collected at the milking shed. This will ensure a better crop. John and Miriam, I hope you've learned so much from Coopers about how to take care of your cows. We have learned a lot. 
and we are very happy. <laughs> and you got enough uh, financial advice? Yes. So now you know how to buy the cows, how to get along. And of course we took you to the farming expo. How was it? It was good and it is very interesting. Yeah. Without even we were going to pay money to attend there. <laughs> <laughs> so you are shocked when you found out that it was free. It was free, yes. It was very, it was very free. Happy. Good advice all around. And you too can get good advice yes. right here on Shamba Shepa. Yes. Shepa. Shamba Shepa. Shamba Shepa is online. To learn more about today's topics or to watch any of our previous episodes, visit shambashapeup.com. Select the episode and click play. You could also visit our Facebook page, Shamba Shape Up, to get more information, get involved in discussions, and also get a chance to enter some of our great competition to win great prizes. You can also find us on Twitter at Shamba Shape Up, or simply text 5606. To receive all Shamba Shepa leaflets, SMS the word ALL with your name and address to 5606. If you'd like to receive just a leaflet for this farm, SMS Farmer, that's the name of the farmer, with your name and address to 5606. Thank you.